Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? Got another Wildsville Dream Collector's Box. We're going to bust open, see if we can happen across a confetti foil or some really good enchantments with some anime artwork or something. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we've been uh, kind of in a little bit of a lull with the collector's boxes here lately. So we'll hope this one picks it back up a little because we did really good at the beginning. But uh, haven't done a whole lot here recently. I mean, the last one's pretty good, but... Only because we've got duplication on really good enchantments. <laughs> uh, four of the, the mythics were duplicates, but they're all good. So uh, let's break in here, see if these 12 packs give us something good. Don't forget to check out the description below. There's a lot of good links down there. Save money, get your cash back on all your purchases. How about the channel? Nobody has clicked any of those links and bought anything this month yet at all. So. Every little bit helps, so click some of those links if you wouldn't mind. It saves you money. It's not like I'm trying to get you to pay anything. All right, let's see what we got. Food, Night, Brixie on Unlife, Life, Lane Line of Sanctity, Decadent Dragon, Yenna, Restless Vine Stalk. Okay, we've got about $4 worth of cards. And <laughs> Season of Growth. I think the Season of Growth might be the most valuable card we pulled. Uh, Swampy and some uncommons and some commons okay so we're not off to a good start not at all hmm. let's uh let's hope that doesn't happen again food and human charming scoundrel there we go omniscience with the anime artwork that's a little better and a virtual loyalty of course right behind it double mythic and misleading signpost Imodane. And then Impact Tremors and Stab Wound and a Planes. And that's it. So, first pack, nothing. Second pack, two Mythics in a row. It's so weird how that happens. Uh, uh, a rat food token. Gorgeous land. Unfortunately, not worth anything, but probably pretty playable. Uh, Leyline of Lightning and Restless Fortress. Another good land. Nelling Nuisance. And Legnus Looter. So again, uh, Utopia Sprawl is probably the best card, mo most valuable card in the pack again. So, uh, yeah. The, the rare is just, I can't believe there's not a single rare worth anything in this whole set. At least not currently. Very awkward. Makes it mythic or bust. Food and treasure and, oh, look at that pretty mythic there. We've been goosed. We've been goosed. And it's, uh, I think it's, uh, yep, there you go, Japanese writing. That is the anime version of it. Foil, fuller, anime doubling season. Can't argue with that. And a nice little intruder alarm. Now there's a rare that's worth something. Elusive Otter. Another mythic. We've got a Realm Scorcher Hellkite. And Tellian's Messenger. The Airy and the Tremors. The Swampy. And that's it. So that was a little bit better pack. That uh, doubling season is probably uh, not too shabby on the values there. All right. Food and trigger. Devouring Sugar Maw. Brixie and Lone Life again. Pollen, hair, pollen Shield Hair. Food Fight. I love that card. Uh, questioning Druid. He's he's good. He's not Questioning Beast, but he's good. But he's not worth anything. Hatching Plans. Vampiric Rights. And that's it. All right, last pack of second number one, halfway through the box. We got some a couple big hits, but not a lot of hits. Rat and food token, feral encounter, blood moon for another good mythic enchantment there, and another devouring sugar maw, malevolent witch kite, and a foil moonshaker cavalry. That's not a bad little mythic for the standard set mythic. I think that's like the third most valuable one now. It used to be the first. Uh, two lids, season of growth. Of course, that could have changed since yesterday when I looked the last time. Up the beanstalk for our uncommon that's worth more than any of the rares in the set. Yeah, at least I think it still is. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, up the beanstalk is a pretty powerful little card. Not a bad little addition here. I'm surprised that one wasn't rare. Uh, food and night. We got the goose mother. We've been double goosed. We got double goosed. Doubling season, double goose. Uh, copy enchantment and virtue of knowledge for another virtue in the mythic slot. 
some old lost lore and the bivouac and double curiosity this is a very curious pack just saying uh, hey i didn't do it they did it blame them blame them i'm not the one coming up with the dad jokes they're just handing them to me I, I may have had something to do with it okay food and rat primal vigor parallel lives there's a nice one not bad at all another good mythic enchantment versus spire Court of Garenbrig and the Bunny Corn. This guy is, this guy's a beast, man. Somebody, uh, I was doing a draft on Arena the other night. And somebody cast this thing, and I was like, "Wait, seven seven for two on like turn four? What's happening here? That thing's a beast." Uh, it was worth something when the set first came out, but everybody forgot about him, I guess. I think he's still, I think he should be worth more than a buck. He should be more than a bulk rare. He's pretty powerful. In the right build, he can go pretty insane pretty quick. All right. Food, human, the end. Ah, oh, it's over already. We just got here. Leyline of the Void, Cruel Sound of Age, Malleable Imposter, Gumdrop Poisoner, and nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing exciting. All right. That was a really weak pack. All right. Let's move on to the next one. That's the thing about magic. When you have a weak pack, you can still buy more. It's crazy. Magic the Gambling. Food, human. Beseech the Mirror for a uh, foil extended art, I think. I don't know. It's so dark I can't even tell if there's a border or not on this thing. Printing is terrible. But I think that is the most expensive rare or mythic in the set, I think. Leyline of Abundance, good rare. And Balloon of Grand Squall for a bulk mythic. Well, Liberated Livestock, Extraordinary Journey, Spreading Seas, and Raid Bombardment in an Island. And that's all she wrote. All right, two more packs. Two more packs of this collector's pack goodness here. Overpriced packs. Um, Goodness, I mean. Mouse food. Restless cottage. Oh, look at that. An anime rustic study falling out at the end here. Moss with Dread Knight. Lightness looter. Moss with Dread Knight again. Groot's Uprising. Dark Tulage. Mountain. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> but there is a ginger brute. Yeah, I drafted four ginger brutes last night. Needless to say, I won a lot of games. <laughs> draft four ginger brutes, and they kind of come out of the gate swinging pretty quick in those games. Food rat, sanguine bond, dawn of hope, oh, restless cottage, fairy slumber party, virtue of courage. The last card just happens to be a mythic. Ground seal and the Gryphonary, and that's all we got. All right, so we got one up the beanstalk, more valuable than anywhere in the set. We got how many mythics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mythics plus five, so 13, 12, 12, wait, how many? <laughs> Math is hard. Uh, yeah, 12 mythics. Okay, <laughs> wow, we got. Again, we got three different virtues. We got the Besiege the Mirror and the Moonshaker Calvary. So not bad at all on just the regular mythics. There we go. Line them up for you. So definitely some good value in the mythics, but not, not enough to pay for the box. But that's what these little guys come in for. So we got Aristic Study. Here's a nice little $30 card. Or at least it was last time I looked. Parallel Lives. Blood Moon. And Omniscience with the anime. And then, of course, the anime fuller foil doubling season. So that's worth a little bit. So the, definitely, uh, I think we came out ahead on this box for sure. Uh, because of the three anime uh, mythics there. Uh, Parallel Lives was not, right? Blood Moon and Parallel Lives, both just regular. Yeah, they're both just regular. But we got three of the animes, so not bad at all. And they're some of the better ones. So there we go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know how you're doing with this set luck-wise. And uh, love to hear from you guys. Love to chat with you in the comments. So I look forward to that. Don't forget to check, so, check out some of the links. Click some of those links in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for your time. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.